Welcome to a new aha moment with Joni. These are unscripted slices of life. And what I want to talk about today is money and being a tourist. Because I just came back from Micronesia, which is part of where Papua New Guinea is. And I've also been recently to South Africa and to Botswana and Zambia. And so these are places where as an American and you show up with your money that you want to use for souvenirs, there are some guidelines. And I found this out kind of the hard way. So I'm going to share some of these ideas with you. First of all, when you travel and you're talking about souvenirs, not something major that you would put on a credit card. And for souvenirs, they don't really want to take credit cards is you need to bring small money like dollar bills and $5 bills and $10 bills and a few $20 bills. But it can't be as simple as that because you have to look at your money and it needs to be printed after 2013. These are rules, and I'm going to share a few more of them, that your vendor is up against when he takes your American money and takes it to his bank to exchange it into his own currency. So the money has to be printed after 2013. It has to look fairly flawless. It can't even have little nicks in it. It can't have writing on it. It can't be rumpled and crumpled. So you say, well, that's easy. I'll go to the bank and get new money. Guess what? Banks don't have new money. Since COVID, none of these banks have been issued brand new money. So you're not going to go to the bank and find a stack of new tens and $20 bills and dollar bills. So what you do is you go through your money and then you get out your iron. Do we all still have an iron? And you literally iron the money so that it looks flat and nice. So you check to see that it doesn't have nicks in it. You check to see that it doesn't have ink marks on it or love somebody on it. That's the money you use. And when you go to these countries, the first thing they want you to do, and this happened on the cruise ship just now when I was in Papua New Guinea, the uh, bank showed up, the people from the bank with this big chest, and they wanted you to exchange your money for their local money. Well, this is not a very good idea because you don't know how much you're going to spend. And then what are you going to do at the end? Nobody's going to take that local money. So what I do is, so I take my newly ironed money. And when I find something I like, I do know in my head what the conversion rate is. Basically, how much is their money worth to U.S. dollars? And if it's something that I want, I will make them an offer in U.S. dollars. And if they kind of hem and haw, I say, we'll see how nice this is. You're going to have the money and I'll, and I'll be able to take your souvenir home. Uh, and sometimes if that isn't enough, sometimes I'll throw in a few extra dollars at, to make it more agreeable. And one fun thing that I learned to do is when you buy something from a local vendor, take a picture with him. They just love it. So when you get home, they have you have this picture of you and the fellow you bought, in my case, this carved wood bowl with. And so it's something that you always have. And when I did this with this young man, he looked at me and he says, oh, I love you. So enjoy your trip. Be careful with your money. Keep it out of sight. Know what the conversion rate is. And don't wear fancy jewelry when you're out and about. It doesn't bode well. And so until you and I meet again, remember every morning to look into your mirror, smile at yourself and say, I am my own best friend, for I came into this world to be myself. For that I came. Thank you and all my best.